Alright people, so Welcome to another episode of uh, IXION And this time I think it's chapter 3 Do you guys see in the save game? Uh, I can check in a bit We just uh, escaped the Immortan system And we were supposed to chase this ship Alright, let me check yeah, it's officially chapter 3 Right So we have We probably have a few requests from the crew Ah uh, Come on Okay, because we have lost 300 and so Crew members We've got uh, That earth sickness also uh, well, Yeah, whatever And the debris field we have entered is mostly composed of corpses. Okay, not good for morale. <laughs> okay. The crews are encouraged by how many how many survivors we have bought about the tycoon. The increase to population reinforces okay saving humanity yada 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 okay that's good we've got some trust bonus good news at least um okay administrator a sector has converted to the cult of the hull this has had a positive impact on the morale of the crew the converts are waiting to hear this interesting <laughs> religion waiting to hear your opinion on their work ship sanctifying the tycoon and his facilities um oh man this is gonna be a, this is gonna be a choice right here um okay embrace the writings of the Barjavil uh, oh man uh, <laughs> Let's uh, embrace the. This is just okay. Okay, was this global? Okay. Yo, this music. It is music. What would be the first thing we should do is uh, a science ship. We should send a science ship. Um, we have I think let me check my all my ships are level one unfortunately um okay let's go here no no oh. <laughs> I, I didn't want to dismantle it but uh, man okay let's put in a mining ship and a science ship I just accidentally dismantled a ship you know what just load, load the game <laughs> no, 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 I'll just say it but it's fine <laughs> what a fucking idiot what an idiot I just woke up it's like 3 a.m. okay <laughs> okay Let's just skim through all this. Um, understood. Yada yada yada. Uh, the knowledge. Yeah. And the cult, the cult thing. Um, yeah. Let's just you know embrace the cult. Um, okay. So what we want to do is unassign. Uh, get one mining ship and one science ship I only have one science ship I lost the other one and we'll send it to uh, okay we don't need to send. oh wait you have to send how do you send I say how you send how do you send anyway we could probably send probes right um First off, water. Right. I'm 
first off, water. Okay, so... Um... Yeah. A side ship has arrived. We need to make sure... Uh, we have water and we have... Okay. Wreckage. This is a wreckage of the Etamenanki Command Center. The UN ship appears to have been attacked. This is a big ass ship. Although the command center is armored, terrible bombardment, something slides through the. Uh, dislodged the center. It's a lot of details here. Yeah? Separated it from the rest of the ship. Numerous pieces of debris and corpses float around the ruin. We have located a breach. Okay, let's enter. And while we're doing that, you know what? To be yeah, just to be safe, we need to find an iron deposit. Okay. Wait, is the probe not? Let me check. Where is the probe? This one. No, it's not. Oh, uh, yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Wait, where is the probe? Oh. Uh, where's the probe launcher? Oh, here it is. <laughs> no, it's not. Wait, where's the probe launcher? Oh, there it is. A whole foot. Oh, yeah. I'm just all kinds of like disorientated something. Okay, yes. To be safe, we need an iron deposit as well. For the sake of the hull. Okay, so. A science ship team has completed a task. Okay. Frozen rooms to which the are from a nightmare. Oh, thank you. Projectile damage cover surfaces, electrical fires, um, severed corpses. Okay, they enter the bridge and they see the bodies of the commander in chief and other officers. It appears they took their own lives. Okay, so what we must do is retrieve the Remus data so the Tycoon will stay here so we can use the retractable telescopic pole to access the center's terminal. Makes sense? Let's try. Um, and let's check the ship situation. We need one ship for water, one ship for iron, um, one ship that kind of just takes anything. <laughs> um, yeah. One ship extra for anything in particular? Maybe carbon? Carbon. Okay. An accident has occurred in the Taipu. Okay, so. Now we need to uh, do some upgrades, I guess. Because um, we're going to have some signs. Okay, so it seems as if stability is fine. No, it's not. <laughs> stability is not fine. Um, it's a lot of accidents. Um, maybe we need to build... We need to build a train station. Yeah, I think this is... Uh, train station and health center train station so we can transfer okay let's do train station right and that will that will make it easier for us to transfer resources and maybe uh, yeah maybe other buildings will have you know as mentioned more of an influence so let's see if we can find points of interest here discovered a food 
production district. Okay. A science ship team has completed a task. I'm trying to think, should we make another science team or um I mean another science ship? I'm not sure. Okay, oh this is a long one. Okay, Remus coordinates aren't here. Uh, it's saying Vohle coordinates are complex algorithms require advanced technology. They identify a storage area within the command center with such equipment. Stolen from Protagoras should have been held. It's been ripped away, uh, shown by cutting lasers and taken. There is some small hope. A single damage calculator terminal was found. So we could maybe use that. It appears that in Etemenanki's final moments, um, they identified and recorded the self-similar signature of their attacker. Okay. So they got the, somehow, got the signature of the attacker. We are now possession of it. It belongs to Piranesi. Oh, damn. A ship of the Black Market Society. Seems like the details of the attacks are terrifying. So the Piranesi might have the coordinates of Remus. Um, okay. So we have been able to locate other parts. Ooh, there are other parts of the Etamenanki. Now. Investigate further. Let's do this first. And... Let's get some water in. Um, or maybe I need to figure out a way to... Um, yeah. Another way to get water. Because we can recycle water. Um, we have some space here. Still. Or... I don't think it can fit in here. I don't think so. How's the food situation? It's still good. Still good. Um, we're gonna wait for this uh, research to finish and build trains. It's kind of a highlight, if I'm being honest. Oh, trains. Okay, water is ice is. I would say quite um, vital right now. So yeah, before we can make our own ice. It's fine. We'll make a. Uh, we'll make. Alright, let's see. As the Etamenan key paused in the crux system, it was attacked. Colossal casualties. Um, the UN crew able were able to find a flaw in the Piranesi's defense systems and a boarding. They did a boarding assault. The Piranesi fired his main weapon before running from the system. The last survivors of the attack either died or could not enter cryonic parts either died from the cold or slowly asphyxiated in days that followed. Okay. Um, let's do this then. And we'll probably have another probe running. Let's explore the system. A probe has completed its scan. Okay. And we're gonna wait for the research to finish. Okay, we got a probe. We can run this probe. Let's try to find maybe I would need hydrogen maybe in the future. And uh the research is almost finished. And I think this is uh, a great moment in our history. Uh, train station. Train station. How do we build a train station? Oh, shut up. It's train station. Wrong to it. Train station? No? Where's train station? Uh, where's the train station? I don't know. <laughs> How do we... Oh, okay, we can build a train station, so... Okay. 
check the one. Let's let's build a train station here and a train station here. Okay. Nice. They are building train stations and a science ship team has um, completed a task. Yeah. We need to start distributing the uh electronics here. Let me do this. One here. One here. And one here. Okay. I guess we need to uh, start making electronics, right? Um, just to replenish. Oh, I can't wait for this. Train station. We are a developed nation now. <laughs> and we can also locate a planet for sort of like... Uh, okay. By powering the command center. So they extracted some data. So Etemenanki was a UN ship that was launched to find other exoplanets. So they had a lack of preparation. In the absence of a habitable exoplanet, they seem to have concentrated on the search. Enemies of humanity, Dolos and the Ashtangites. So by boarding the Protagoras, the Etemenanki was able to locate Remus. I guess they went, they went rogue. And we can leave here now. Administrator, we have found the Piranesi signature stored in the Etemenenki's destroyed command center. Okay. It is a ship unlike any other in our records. A formidable opponent, now in possession of the Remus coordinates. Interesting. The eventual failure of the Tycoon's Hall is inevitable. We have oh. no other choice but to confront the Piranesi. Before we leave the system, we must find a way to develop an effective countermeasure strategy. Okay. Alright, so what she she's saying there is, you see our hull will decrease every single time we um, change system, right? Like, it's a flawed technology, so we need to find a way to... We just we're just desperate at this point. So basically we're just gonna have to fight. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I have to awaken two thousand cryonic parts, okay? I just wanna see this train station right now. Where is this train station? Oh there it is. Nice. Nice. A probe has completed its scan. Wait, what's going on here? Oh, it's building still. An accident has occurred in the tycoon. Nice. We've got trains now. Um four sectors unlocked. I think we have the population to handle another sector. We do have the population. Um, let's do some research, right? What should be the research? Piranesi. Unlock. There's one more research to be unlocked. Okay, what do you guys think we're gonna need? Okay, so we do have... We do have um, this workshop here. Waste treatment center that can make alloy or electronics, whatever, polymer. Um, we also have this mushroom wall that can make food. Yeah, it's full right now. Because we're making a lot of food. Um, so maybe if we have water, that would be nice. So let's research that. And we might... Or do, do you think nuclear power plant is something we might need? 
Uh huh. That's interesting. Because we seem to have an abundance of water, so we could probably uh nuclear power plant would solve a lot of problems. You know what? Let's do a nuclear power plant. We do have hydrogen. And maybe you maybe we'll place a nuclear power plant in a new sector. Uh okay, do we have the resources to Yes we do. Or do we find the cryopods first? I think we, we need to find the uh, cryopods first before we start. All right. Where would the... Uh, let's go here first with the science team. And what's this guy doing? Let's just keep probing. Okay. Um... So we're researching the power plant. The science ship has arrived at its destination. Science ship has arrived, okay. Industrial zone wreckage. Okay, scans detected large quantities of steel. Large piles of previously molten metals. Okay. Alright, so. They are suspended yellow particles. Um, yeah, let's look for that. I don't know. Okay, so... Researching the nuclear weapon. Um, maybe I need two mining ships, because... Pride when, pride when. Right when. Maybe Aldan, I can go. Um... Let's have two mining ships and so we can start. Yeah, just mining everything. Are we with the research? That takes some time. Um, just keep probing. Probing and probing. We have a lot of water right now. Okay, I think I can open up. Why is it not transferring the water? Sector 3, the ice. Yeah. Transfer the ice here, man. So, does the train make everything faster? And you can see it's not a lot of robots as, as much as before. So, has completed a task. I think it does make everything faster, right? And we're going to see the benefits of the train as we play. Okay. The team followed the trail of yellow particles to another section. So it's kind of like the particles came from crushed and damaged flowers of yellow squash. There's a bronze sculpture, depiction of earth, crowned with laurels. Many messages have been left near the structure. Railing against the perceived enemies of humanity, Dolos and the Ashtonites. They really hate us. They really hate us. We the up. <laughs> we the up. A plaque, a plaque at its base reads against the cynicism that kills hope. Against the madness which precipitates hell. To perpetuate the genius of humanity and the memory of our life on earth that's what i think a un guy would sound like um there is a compartment beneath the plague in which a sealed time capsule is found okay let's, let's just explore one by one and keep probing Man, I wish we could automate probing. Because <laughs> it's not like the most interesting uh, mini game, if I'm being honest. Um, can we transfer some ice? Why, is, why are they not transferring the ice? How's the research going? 80%. Okay, nuclear. So we're ready to open up a new section and get some nuclear weapons in there. 
and we could maybe even locate a planet for colonization test colonization protocols um yeah okay we've got the power plan and i think we need to start um water treatment center yeah it's, it's gonna be i think like in the future when you when you can't mine and stuff you're gonna need like waste um how do i say this you're gonna need waste uh recycling oh man i'm just all over the place we're gonna need buildings that can recycle waste okay and use that as a use that as a as a what use that as our resource um creator okay <laughs> that's what i'm trying to say okay all right so i guess we're using a lot of alloy here so we need to be uh does it seem why does it seem like there's no resources are they even mining yeah hope you guys are mining okay maybe i need to prioritize uh iron one guy to prioritize no actually both of them can prioritize iron right because now we have a lot of uh okay let's see industrial so the industrial zone is devastated covered by flying molten metal depressurization monuments created sometimes all that remains of a body is a cracked metal shell the skyropods but covered by steel and we have some information about the etaminan keys production methods okay let's investigate the storage area we might find some uh alloy because production of alloy is slow i mean i guess because i did not mine alloy meaning i wasn't focused on alloy so and we do have alloy deposits and we're gonna need alloy to build stuff okay and look at the hull integrity this might f us up okay um that might might fuck us up seems like we're not producing enough waste um there is something we can research here oh no okay we're gonna this game is gonna it's, it's gonna go to hell because yeah let's see oh we got alloy the storage area seems to have been a battleground for a large violent clash so workers attempted to repel invaders with small firearms apart from the cutting no evidence that identifies the invader so we got some cry cryopods and resources nice okay let's open the time capsule and let's start uh, retrieving some alloy like directly let's prioritize the alloy and we need to mine water as well right now survival depends on alloy and water and yeah we need the alloy you have failed Oops. administrator <laughs> core functions have been rendered inoperative oh man oh man that happens okay i let's see how far the, the uh, auto save takes us first order of business alloy first order of business alloy let this be a lesson to anyone watching first order of business alloy and maybe ice okay 
Okay, we're gonna see how far I, I, the autosave takes us. And if it's not that far, I'm gonna play offline just to get to where we were uh, before. I don't wanna repeat stuff, right? Alright, okay, we don't even have the trains yet. So, yeah, guys, I'll play offline and yeah. And see you guys in a bit. In actually, because I'm editing the video, see you guys like right after this, to be honest. <laughs> Alright people, so we managed to survive the initial Yeah. We are back, okay? Uh this time with alloy. And I just built one train station to be safe, right? And because the train station uses a lot of alloy. That was my first mistake. Okay, and maybe I need another EVA airlock. And you know what, guess what, um, maybe I should focus on, oh, I don't have alloy for that, opening up the other sector. Cause that would mean I get alloy, there's alloy in that sector. But let's see if I have the population to, yeah, I don't think so. A lot of people don't work, <laughs> a lot of my population don't work, um, okay. Okay. All right. So there's one thing I can research that could make me some alloy. Actually, um, let's see. Is it cell housing? No. Is it crew quarters? Um, let me see. Let me see. There is. There is one. Let me just check. Let me pause the game. Nihei Quarter Protocol. Okay, so while the waste recycling policy is in effect, quarters produce waste at a rate of one waste per 20 inhabitants over 15 cycles. Yeah. What about cell housing? Bioelectricity. Oh, I need to unlock this. Okay to unlock that how do I unlock that how do I unlock that additional beds um yeah maybe we need to research these um additional beds small small stuff that will kind of bring small small benefits that will have a large effect Okay, so we have iron, we have a steady influx of iron. And let's get as much iron as we can. We need a lot of things right now. And because the hull integrity is... We have a small sort of like margin of error in terms of hull integrity. We just have to be careful to be honest. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, we still need to mine. I was thinking we can just have one mining ship, but um, because we still, we don't have that much deposit, we still need to mine. Administrator, a new request awaits your attention. Okay. This is annoying. They should just have the request as a notification, right? Because now I got to find it manually. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Promise to turn. Oh, this pipe is thorough. Oh, they don't like food <laughs> produced from waste. <laughs> so the crew, the food and the like, parallels between the food and the garbage. Uh, okay, that if that makes them ha happy. <laughs> Guys, come on. <laughs> okay, it's off, right? Okay. If that makes them happy, why not? Why not? Right. Okay. A probe has completed its scan. <laughs> See, I mean, duh, of course. If you think they would like food made from waste, you're wilding. Um... 
if I'm being honest, I've never gotten this far. So this might not even be a good run. Um, but we will learn from it. And if anything happens, we might need to restart. Um, or I could play offline until I'm successful and just tell you how I did it, I guess. Okay, Nihei Quarter Protocol. Let's see what that entails. That should mean we get more waste and we can make more alloy. Team has completed a task. And, but not here though. <laughs> okay, so let's share these waste. Let's see, waste. Yeah. All right, so let's share the waste. And we should do another station. Sector one. A probe has completed its scan. Why can't, why are we not allowed to build this uh, station? Uh, we have electronics, we do have electronics. Oh, that's weird. Something wrong here. Oh, there's no electronics. Um, yeah, let's share the electronics. Let's ask for electronics, okay? Right. Oh, this is building, is it? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Okay. Um, okay. That's a science ship, I think. It's done. Yeah, you, you guys saw the yellow particles, right? Um, let's open the time capsule. And let's keep probing. Wish, like I said, I wish there was a way to automate probing. Oh, there's a mission. Point of interest somewhere here. Okay, somewhere here. Let's see how, I think we really need um that new, new sector. I mean, the city builder in me is thinking new sector, totally industrial. Um, <laughs> but the survivor is saying, no, you, it's just not possible. I mean, <laughs> it's not that it's not possible, but it's just not um, realistic, right? Just to keep chopping and changing, right? So, um, yeah, it would be nice to be able to do that. Just one sector industrial and I turn sort of like sector one into like a, a terminal, a port of some sort. So yeah, let's keep researching because, okay, let's do water treatment center first, right? So we can produce our own water and soon we might, I mean, if you want to go further, if, if you want to develop further, we will need that nuclear. Oh, okay. Train station is built. And I guess the train station is, yeah, it's throughout the sectors. I need to read up on this train station. Science shit, dude. okay. Let's see. Inside the capsule were toys and everyday items, newspaper clippings, what happened after the tycoon. Okay, so this is vital info. What happened in the first chapter? There was a total collapse of Earth's ecosystem the moon, destruction, the UN installed a totalitarian government of planetary 
surveillance to protect the population from eco-terrorists and the continuous waves of pandemics. They prioritized co corporate practices that supported the environment and its preservation. So, you know, survival mode pretty much. Individual responsibility is paramount. Numerous legal ramifications were implemented. So everything is about ecosystem. So society to have turned on politicians, extremists, immigrants, conspiracy theorists, possible scapegoats, holding them responsible for 200 politicians and extremists maybe. Industri industrialization, market disruption, superficial societal practice, moral decay, and hyper-consumerism. The Etemenanki was to be the great art, supposed to save humanity. So the government, only those deemed well-behaved in the eyes of the government will be allowed on board. The Ashtangites, fanatics. Oh, so I thought the Ashtangites were aliens or some shit. <laughs> no, they're just... Uh, fanatics of mysticism, proponents of genetic manipulation were left behind with the deviance and the distance. Okay, so new technology upgrade, uh, self-cleaning lubricants. <laughs> what does that mean? Self-cleaning lubricants. Uh, it means something useful, but let's not talk about that. Okay. So we are producing, I mean, we are researching uh, water treatment center, right. Oh, so there's a new... Yeah, we found like a planet we could maybe colonize. Um, we could... Okay, one thing at a time here. We could maybe have one guy... Okay. One guy do cryopods. And... Yeah. One guy do cryopods, okay? And... What else do we need? What are we researching? Water treatment center. Oh yeah, we did the... Nihei protocol, additional beds. And what else do we do? What else did we do? Um, we're just gonna research according to needs. And it looks like we have, ooh, housing capacity, 800, 700, 400. So, housing capacity has increased. Okay. So, uh, I'm just wondering, do we still need uh, stockpiles I don't know. Like, I need to read up on trains. Maybe there's something we can read up here. Resources, transport. Okay. No, transfers. Transferings, resources, uh, resource management. Um. Okay, these are nothing about trains yet. Let's see. Colonies. Space travel. Okay. Nothing about train. I'm gonna read up on that later. Like, what does a train do? Stuff like that. And you know, there's some YouTubers that, you know, do these tutorials as they play the game. They learn new things and they just, you know, give you the lowdown. And might it teach me a thing or two. Oh. Okay. Oh, so they're building the train station here. Is it automated, right? I guess. Yeah. So we do need to keep producing um electronics. Uh do we have we do have silicon. Um I might need that. Do I have I wonder if I have... There's a medical center that I can research. That has to be next. Health center. Capacity to heal up to 100. 
Oh yeah, this has to be next, right? Um, or is it nuclear power plant next? This has to be next. Let's make this next health center. Okay, so we're steadily mining, you know, steadily transporting stuff. Um, I wonder if we're transporting. Yeah, we do, we do. We're transporting chiropods as well. But I might have to switch this to chiropod. And this one to chiropod. And yeah, we could probably fill up because we do have oh food we do have um what do we have we have a lot of space for people 800 over here 700 here so yeah we could probably wake up some of the cry uh, cryo parts all right i've been neglecting space we gotta keep probing okay Yeah, silicone deposit. Oh, it's so hard to finesse this. Okay, we got it. All right, where's my... No, not this one. Where's my spaceship? Okay. Let's just collect all these uh, science points. Okay, so let's... Uh, Oh, water treatment center has been. Okay, ideally it will be here, but no, I don't have space right now. Factories, water treatment center. Oh, it's not that big. Let's see if we can fit one. Yeah, we can fit one here. Um, water treatment center. I'm gonna need 80 alloy. A hundred, what, what? A hundred? He uses a hundred. Okay, now, now I get it. Now I'm gonna need that nuclear power. So whether we like it or not, in order to... This has to be next. And let's start. Um, yeah, we are, we are, we are. Yeah, okay, so let's see the population limit, right? Um, okay, we need to be careful with this. Because when we open the cryonics, we're gonna need more food, we're gonna need to produce more food, and let's see the population limit here. 816 for sector 1. Uh, seven six five six to two, and uh, four seven nine. So we need to monitor the food. We need to monitor the food, and we need to open this mushroom again. And we could fit the water treatment center here, I guess, right. So we'll, for the time being, we have a lot of ice, so that should be fine. Um, okay, let's see what's going on here. Collapse food production district. Oh, okay. This is a section of the Itaminan key drifting in the vacuum space. Organic debris. This is the sh uh, part of the ship responsible for food production, vegetal and animal, self-contained area generating a heat signature. Um, let's do this one by one, vegetal zone. And, okay, so, so right now we are researching health center, which I think is um, for survival. Um, nuclear power plant next and why because it seems like the, the newer buildings are going to need like a lot of power and solar power is just not going to cut it and 
at this point you can see that my layout is just all over the place right <laughs> yeah i'm gonna should i turn this on now once we get more staff we do have a lot of staff here oh sector one needs staff so let's transfer some workers to sector one right Population transfer complete. Okay. Yeah. Once we get more uh, cryonics, cryonics open, we could open these insect farms up. And yeah, we can make some insect farms here. And a yeah. science ship team has completed a task. Science ship. Let's see. Okay. Personalized instructions upgrade unlock for crop farm. That's nice. Okay, so they were finally able to reach the vegetable production area. There's some chiropods. Hydroponic technology. Hierarchical rationing reserved the rarest of foods for higher ranking crew members. Man, fuck that. Um, a few intact storage containers. Okay. So we have new technology and some food and... Yeah, let's investigate one by one. Okay. And keep probing. Okay, so we have new technology. So we can uh, maximize our food production. Right? Let's see. Um, crop farms, yeah. And whoa, and we can do the Nihe crops crops protocol. So that produces more waste. The more waste we produce, um, we can start, you know, processing waste. And waste is the future. Right? Alright, so anyway, I think I've gone uh, this music though. Um I think yeah. Uh, that's about it and we're <laughs> kind of steady for now but we don't know what's gonna happen in the future I might be like you know using up too much of one resource run out of it later so we don't know so we always gotta have extra alloy extra food and extra research points science points um, yeah I'm gonna stop here we're gonna keep developing our tycoon We've got train station now. So yeah, we're gonna keep developing the tycoon, exploring this. Look at this, just look at this, this, what a sight. <laughs> this could be like an animated wallpaper or something, right? So yeah, exploring, exploring the system, exploring what happened here, new technologies, yada, yada, yada. Um, yeah, that's it for me. Thank you for watching. Peace.